Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nat. And I'm Ashton. And we, and we are, are the, the Nerds, Nerds in, in Flannel. Flannel. Hey guys, welcome back to episode three of our podcast. Woo! Woo! Uh, we are joined by our special guest and one of our friends, Ethan Johnson. Say hello, Ethan. Yo, what's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> that was the one that... The... <laughs> That was most chill. Yo, what's up, everybody? I've heard in a really long time. Facts. <laughs> Should we give a little background on who Ethan is and yes. his relation to us? Ashton, you can do that. Dope. So, um, the way that I know Ethan is actually our moms uh, met when they were, I think, around our age. Yeah. Um, And they've just kind of kept their relationship alive. My mom moved to Winnipeg, or moved back to Winnipeg, I should say, and... Where, where, where's your family from, Ethan? Care to tell the audience? Yeah, my family is from originally from Kamloops, BC, and then yeah, I grew up in Quinell. Yeah, so. and uh, that kind of caused a bit of a separation. But I think kind of when my family moved to BC, um, our parents reunited for a little bit, and I think we first met when we were like one. <laughs> oh really? My mom sent me a photo of us when we were like one. Oh wow! I like, hold if you're listening. That. I want to see this photo. <laughs> no, I kind of no. want to see that photo too. I didn't <laughs> even know. Her. If you have it, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you texting my mom? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> so yes, uh, I've known Ethan a long time, and then we kind of just connected, started our own sort of friendship thing. Uh, here at um, our school, and so that's also where uh, he met Nat as well. And yeah, we get, from there uh, we just kind of all became close. Um, and then Ethan made the horrible choice of leaving <laughs> us. Sad. Because yeah. now that means Sad. that I only have Nat to watch after me, and he can't handle that responsibility. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's I drive you everywhere. <laughs> Thanks. I I drove you. I picked you up at ten o'clock at night. And I drove you to the movies. And dad, thanks, dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it's 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 good. It's good. Um, but yes, he is no longer coming to our school, which we do miss. We do miss you, Ethan. But it's 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 nice to kind of come back in in this context and still hang out. Yeah, I miss having someone to roast Ashen with. Yeah, yeah I miss true. having two people roast me now. I just have to rely on Nat for jokes. I miss, <laughs> I miss having people to beat at Mario Kart. Oh! <laughs> After this, we'll, we'll put that to the... Actually, no, you have work tomorrow. Never mind. <laughs> we'll do another time. We're here for two weeks. Yeah. All right. So, guys, before we uh, hop into our topic, let's do a uh, let's do a can opening. Oh, let's do it. Okay, put your cans to the mics. Oh, wait, dude, I can't get my finger under the t- tab. <laughs> wait, wait. Dang. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. Sorry to the headphone users. <laughs> uh, Ethan and Ash are drinking iced tea. I'm drinking an amp. I probably shouldn't be at, what time is it? No, almost 10, 20 to yeah. 10. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Who cares? I got nothing tomorrow. <laughs> I have class. I got work at 7. I got a day off. <laughs> <laughs> You guys right. can't see faces, but me and Ethan are very salty. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. So today we wanted to talk about video games. Um, and video games that inspired us are top five video games of all time and our most anticipated video games. Now, Ethan, give us a little background about you and video games. Like, did you play a lot of video games growing up? What's, what's the deal here? Uh, I did not play a lot of video games growing up. Um, my, my brother had a console and so I'd occasionally play with him, but it, uh, video games weren't really, really my thing as a kid. Um, I, I definitely had a few video games that like were my go-tos that, that if I were to play one, I'd, I'd play those, but yeah. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Ashton, how about you? Yeah, well, um, so I came from a family where, you know, growing up, my mom wasn't the biggest fan of us having video games, which back then, very respectable, even though I did have my first console when I was one, so I don't think she really won the war. She just won all the small battles that happened. Um, yeah. I, ha- I got a PlayStation 1 given to me. When I was about one, um, didn't know how to use it, obviously, but had it. 
And then I got one of those like Leafster handheld devices when I was like five or something. I had one. And dude, those were the best. Like those counted as school times. I mean, okay, my mom did allow those video games, which thank you, mom, if you're listening. Um, I actually was just looking at it the other day and just so many memories. (laughs) Uh, And yeah, I would say kind of like more of my teenage years, I kind of got more into that stuff. Um, And even as a kid, like especially with the Wii and everything. And yeah, I'm. I would say I'm a pretty big video game nerd now. Sick. What um, about you, Nat? Yes, for me, I grew up playing video games <clears throat> a lot. Um, when I was like four or five, I went to my cousin's house and played GameCube and stuff, and any the SNES at that time. And I think yeah, the PS PS Two just came out at that point. And yo, know, I played so much Tekken. I love Tekken, man. Tekken's so much fun. Dang. Yeah, bro. On, on PS2. Wait, I think it was PS2. Dude, I don't remember. Anyways, and then when I was eight, I got my DS. Ooh. I got the DS Lite, the blue one. Clean. I played those. For, I played on that for hours. We got Rock Band, we got Star Wars, Mario Party, Mario Kart. Yo, good stuff. And then once I got a job and could afford to buy expensive things for myself, I bought myself a Wii and a PS4, and I've been playing ever since. And, you know... I don't play, like, PC, but, like, consoles, games, or it's where it's at. And I have a Switch now, so I play even more games. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yes. Actually, I, I have a quick question. I think Nat kind of touched on his answer a bit. Um, so what what are everyone's, like, f- most memorable, like, first game that you used to binge all the time? Like, your first favorite game? First favorite game? Oh, mine would have to be Star Wars Knights of the Republic. <laughs> Ooh. That's a good game. That, yeah. That I'm I'm only game. halfway through it <laughs> right now, even though it's been out for years. Years and years. But, uh, yeah, I, I need to get back into it. Uh, game. Hmm. I don't want to say... I, okay, so, like, Tekken, yeah. But, mm, Super Mario Kart on the NES. Ooh. That's a good game. It's so janky now. Yeah. These controls are just so bad. Especially yeah. emulating on the Switch. It can yeah. be a little jank. Yeah. But no, it's good. Good game. It's a good game. I would say for mine, um, at, in in true Canadian form, Chell 2000s. <gasps> that was, for the PlayStation 1, man, that was like the go-to game for me and my siblings. And even one of my childhood best friends growing up, like, we would just... We would play that all night, even up until I was, like, probably, like, 17. Who's, I just played that all the time. Who was on the cover of Chow 2000? Oh, remember? good question. I actually didn't have the cover. Oh. That got wrecked when I was a kid. I just kept the CD in one, or, like, because PlayStation <laughs> games were CD-based. Yeah, yeah. Uh, original PlayStation games. I kept that in, like, a little wallet. <laughs> you you remember those, like, disc wallet things? Oh, where they like, snap it in, the clear plastic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, guys. Top five favorite video games of all time. Top five. I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds to think about it. 30 seconds. (laughs) While we think about it, enjoy a commercial break. Thank you. This episode of Nerds and Flannel is sponsored by Anchor.fm. Anchor.fm is the best place to edit and record your own podcast. You can do it on your phone, iPad, and computer. And for 15% off an Anchor.fm premium subscription, go to anchor.fm slash nerds in flannel. Again, that is anchor.fm slash nerds in flannel. Special shout out to uh, Anchor for sponsoring us as we create this content that we like. Thank you, Anchor. Love you. Do you need to write it down? I should be okay. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> My fifth favorite video game of all time: the original Pac-Man, Ooh. the arcade version. Yo, know, I I had this arcade by my house with the original Pac-Man arcade machine. Played it for hours. There's nothing like a, a Pac-Man arcade no, machine. Never. There's there's just a distinct feeling about hitting like the buttons and I don't know, man. It's it's its own experience. I'm kind of sad that... I, well, I hope arcade machines make a comeback. No, they have um the... um What's the... Um, arcade 1-Up. That's the name. Oh, right. The 1-Ups. Arcade 1-Ups, yeah. Those are cool. Yeah. They're pretty cheap, too. All right, Ashton, number five. 
Okay, for me, my number five, Super Mario Brothers three. Yeah. So my my grandmother bought a Wii when they came out. Um, Wiis were more advertised as like a family fun sort of thing. Yeah, for the um, people. for the casual people, and she didn't really think of it as a video game console when she bought it. And my uncle bought one at the same time and recommended that she buy one too. And he loaded up some of his favorite games on it. Um, and the Wii had what was called like this retro console sort of thing. And on that, you could get all sorts of, like, different games. Um, man, I played through Mario or Super Mario Brothers 3 so many times when I was a kid. Just so many good memories with that game. Um, just the raccoon costume and just... Man, Fucking, that was that was wild. The Tanuki costume. The t- well, the, the raccoon and the Tanuki costume oh, are that different. Is that two different things? Dude, see, I don't play Mario games. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ethan, number five. All right, I think I'm going to have to go with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Ooh! It was, uh, was yeah, it was a really good game. It, it mixed the whole open world concept of um, Assassin's Creed and then added the, the feature of, like, the whole with the boats and, like, where you get to, like, take your take your big pirate ship to, like, island to island and, like, really explore the world. It, it was a really good game. Right. Okay. Number four for me. Hmm. Super Mario 64. Oh, nice. Okay, it's low, but this is a top five, so it's high. <laughs> yeah. It's a great, iconic game. Game changer for for all 3D platformers. Uh, I still play it on the Switch. That's the only game I play on Super Mario All-Stars. I should probably play Galaxy and yes. Sunshine at some point, but... We'll get there. 100%. Ashton, number four. Okay, my number four um, is Halo 3. So, here's a fun fact. I actually hadn't played any of the Halo games until just last spring. I got the Master Chief Collection on Game Pass. I'm an Xbox kind of person. That's what I happen to go with. And, man, I'll tell you, like, I have never had that much fun playing an FPS in a long time. That was, like, a story-driven FPS. Yeah. Not one that you just play with your friends or whatever. You throw I'll... the controller at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Halo's really good for that. Yeah, 100%. For man. throwing controllers? Well, no, for the good story. For the good story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and, man, that was... I I don't know. Like, that game just struck me and just left an impression with me. So that's, that's my number four. You said number four. My number four is going to have to be uh, Lego Star Wars. The, uh, Which one? <laughs> uh, the, the Complete Saga. Oh, let's go! Yeah, that, that, good game. that yeah. story, that, that game was great. For you get to play. Uh, <laughs> it, I played on Xbox, I think the original Xbox. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was it was a great, game, a great game with with just like getting to play your favorite movie moments and um, being able to like customize your characters yeah. and like make make a Jedi that like is your guy, right? And it's all yeah, get to be creative and stuff like that. It was it was a great game. Sick. All right, my number three favorite video of all time is it's, it's a toss up, but I'm gonna say Wii Sports. Nice. Wii Sports. Dude, Wii Sports is gold. <laughs> Wii yeah. Sports is so good. If anyone on dorms who's... If you listen to... If you, you're listening and you live in dorms, you know, like, I'm the master of bowling. Yo, why haven't we played bowling yet? We can play tonight. Yo! Oh, no, you guys yeah. have class. We'll play yeah. another day. <laughs> <laughs> but, Frick, yeah. I'll take you on, man. Dude, I am so good at Wii Bowling, but also, like, I really love Wii Tennis. Yes. Like... Do I play? I put hours and hours into it because when I first got my Wii, I I just bought the system, and I didn't buy anything else. Yeah, the only game it came with was Wii Sports. I played that for a good month before I got Smash Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Okay, Ashton, number three. Number three. Okay. Um, it's gonna be Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, I actually I I used to be more of a brawl player back in the game Super Smash. Rose Brawl. Back when we were casuals. Back when we were casuals. Um, <laughs> and then I, I made the glorious mistake, not mistake, the glorious choice. I mean, my wallet would consider it a mistake, but I wouldn't. Oh, of whatever. joining this school and becoming friends with Matt. And now <laughs> we, like, I think I mentioned this in a previous episode. The day after I met this dude, 
I went home and bought a Switch because <laughs> we were playing so much Smash. I was having so much fun. I hadn't really played since Brawl. Um, and then, dude, like, full, like, pretty much all first year. Like, that's all we did. That's pretty much all we did. We just kind of hang out. Uh, we, we'd play Smash. There'd always be people wanting to, wanting to come through and play that. And, yeah. man, like, even just uh, as a good youth group game or whatever, it's... It's, it's fun and clean. It's fun and clean, and it's also challenging. And <laughs> I've, yeah, exactly. Um, we scream a lot, and <laughs> I've yeah, we we've invested in GameCube controllers together and We're practical adapters pr- practically at this point. It's pretty. It's pretty great. I love it. Thank you. Number three, Ethan. Yeah, um, uh, my number three is gonna have to be Star Wars Battlefront Two for the original Xbox. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god oh top three yeah. so number six. Oh. let's go let's go <laughs> it's a great game uh that that one for me like i had so many memories of just like playing that with my brother and i remember uh he had he had the frenzy rifle he had he had worked uh worked hard to make sure he mm. like permanently had the frenzy rifle yeah 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 and then he would always beat me because my profile did not have it. <laughs> Dude, I played dual. I, played, I had Battlefront 2 on the PSP. Dude. Dude. Those guys. I was a PC player all the way for that game. <laughs> I have it on PC now, but I, I originally played it on the original Xbox. That's pretty Sick. dope. That That's where you got mo- like the DLC that was exclusive for the Xbox What was the too? DLC for the Xbox? Uh, you got kiati uh mundi and uh asajj ventress oh, as two yeah. jedi and sith players and then there were also additional maps so i think like you had to download it if you had xbox live back in the day that's the only reason it worked because that was the xbox or that was like the only console that really had good like internet stuff going for it um but yeah if you if you have a newer xbox one or xbox series whatever and you still have your original Battlefront 2 disc, put it in, and you can actually get those maps. Yeah. It's pretty great. Awesome. All right. Hey, two more picks, guys. Okay. My second favorite video game of all time. You guys know I'm a Spider-Man fan. Yes. It's going to have to be Spider-Man PS4. Ooh, man. Ethan, have you played this game? No. Okay, so I'm the only one in this room who has played it. And like I said before, this game's so good. Where is it? I have it somewhere in this room. I don't know I'm where it is. I'm not surprised. <laughs> But, like, I, the fr- launch, I got, okay, I got all the extra DLC on the launch day. I would do, and I was trying to get the special edition with the, with the statue, but it, it sold out, obviously. Yeah. But I played this game in, to completion, and as soon as I got it. And then I went back, and then I went to school the next day and wrote a, uh, exam. <laughs> <laughs> I failed. But, uh, hey, dude, whatever. <laughs> I passed high school. <laughs> We're good, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Man. So, um, story is great. Uh, the swinging is probably the best. Actually, no. Sp- uh, Spider-Man S- Miles Morales has the best swinging, but back then it was the best swinging swinging in a video game. And the graphics are good. Story, like I said, no. Okay, I said story twice, but story is really good. Um, yeah, play it. Wait, do you, do you have Miles Morales? No. Dang. I uh, played that friend zone. Nice. Yeah. I, I, I'm wait for the PS5. For the PS5. Yeah, that's But no, he had to play the PS4. Okay. I'm just going to wait till I, get, till I get PS5. That's right. I'm getting PS5, not X-Bone. Whoa. <laughs> <Fair. laughs> <laughs> all right. Ashton. All right. My number two of all time um, is going to be Super Mario Galaxy. So, I remember <laughs> waking up Christmas morning t- in 2008... Um, it was the last time actually like for us here in this area that we are, that we had snow for Christmas rather like with the exception of this past Christmas, I remember waking up and my uncle had bought that game for himself (laughs) and he let, he let us play it on my grandmother's Wii and man, I had so much fun with that game. When we eventually got the Wii, that was one of the first games that, um, that we bought, like when we brought the Wii home for ourselves yeah. after my grandmother got a PS3 instead for her place. Um, we brought the we yeah, we we got that game pretty much right off the bat, and I played the heck out of that thing. Like the disc is broken. Like I'm pretty <laughs> sure the disc is broken. Um, 
Yeah, or maybe that's what killed our Xbox, or sorry, our Wii disk drive. But <laughs> <The Xbox. laughs> yeah, it would break the Xbox one. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, also like I have a Switch as well. I, I've already mentioned that in this episode, but um, I happened to buy Mario Mario 3D All Stars launch day for Mario Galaxy specifically, and I've. I 100% on that game, beating it 100% with Mario, and then unlocking Luigi, and back-to-back beating it again. Such a fun game. Highly recommend if you haven't played it, and you have a Switch, or a Wii, for that matter, and you can find the game. Yeah. All right, <laughs> number two, two. Here we go. Uh, number two for me is uh, Mario Kart Wii. Let's go. That was... Uh, yeah, I, I, I just brought it at the door. We gotta play. Oh, <laughs> yo, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, for me, like, Mario Kart Wii was something I'd play with my, my siblings a lot. Um, I remember, um, yeah, I, I, I'd I played a lot with my older sister and my older brother, and uh, whenever my little sister wanted to play, we'd give her a controller and not plug it in. And, uh, <laughs> <Sick>. <laughs> so petty. Yeah. <laughs> Every older sibling did that. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, she was like six at the time. Yeah. <laughs> to but, be fair? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just great times playing that game with uh, with my siblings. That I mean, no matter how many of those times ended up resulting in fights. But uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. It was good times and I got pretty good at it. So, yeah. So, yeah. You sick. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go number one for me my favorite video game of all time super smash bros ultimate oh let's go so like asher said we play this game to death yeah but during quarantine i actually like started like burying myself into this game i learned all the counters i learned all the moves <laughs> and i still suck but <laughs> <laughs> you know it's the passion that counts and you know I'm actually thinking of joining some tournaments, which, like, I would get absolutely slapped in, but, like, I should, you should, let's, just, let's just do it. Let's just Honestly, do it I'll join you. Let's join, yeah, let's get slapped together. Yeah. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, my main is Joker, so do with that what you will. If you know who that is, good for you. If you don't, uh, my other main is Pikachu. <laughs> you should know who that is. <laughs> All right, Ashton. Okay, my number one, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wilds. So, I went into this game never, ever playing a Zelda game, ever. Um, And I I ended up, I bought this game, it was kind of a hard time. Um, A friend of mine uh, that I really looked up to and admired had just passed away. And um, yeah, I came home with this game and just kind of buried myself in it. And it, yeah, just the open world environment... um, and just kind of the story and how you start off and where you end up at the end. And just the ability to go anywhere and do whatever the heck you want. Like, if you want to kill a horse, you can kill a horse. If you want to ride a bear, you can ride a bear or a unicorn or, like, climb whatever mountain or whatever. Um, it's unicorns? Oh, yeah, there is unicorns. Yeah, it's, it's pretty great. Yeah, I've, I, since then, um, I got this game in 2019, right after I got my Switch. Yeah. And uh, since then, I've played it pretty much once a year on a new account just because I like that game so much. (laughs) All right, Ethan, your favorite video game of all time. All right, my favorite video game of all time is going to have to be Twilight Seen It. (laughs) <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's uh... <laughs> I, I, I was actually going to say, Twilight seen it? Yeah, I love Twilight. I would rock at that game. I've, I've never seen Twilight. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> um, no, my favorite video game of all time is uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Can you tell Ethan like Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a big nerd that way. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, it was... Uh, it was I don't even remember. It, it's a really old game. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah it's it came out on the original Xbox and PC. And it was, uh, yeah, it was a role-playing game. And, it was yeah, you could play it at so many times and do different things. There's, like, side quests that you can do. You can choose whether or not to be a good guy or a bad guy. And so, yeah, when, when I hear video games, that's always a thing that comes to mind as, like, my favorite video game. Because, um, 
of yeah being able to play it so many times and do different things and then yeah i remember as a as a kid as well like my brother would play that game all the time and then so i i, I gave it a crack as a kid couldn't could never figure anything out there <laughs> i i was i was dumb i couldn't i couldn't get past any anything so i'd always be be going and finding my brother and asking him for help and so when I played the game, it was basically like my brother was playing the game for me <laughs> <laughs> because I couldn't I couldn't do anything by myself there. But then, yeah, as a teenager and stuff, I went back to the game, and and then since then, I've I've played through that game like more m- more times than I can count, right. and it's it's still like my favorite. Nice, so. awesome. Came out in two thousand three. If you guys are still wondering when that ga- when that game came out, it's two thousand three. <laughs> okay, dude, doesn't that make you feel old? Yeah. Do you know what makes me feel old? Shrek is like twenty two years old. Oh, frick. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek came out what like oh one? Yeah, oh one. Wait, so it's twenty one. Same age as me. The same age as me. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> twenty one. Twenty one. Oh man. All right. So, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Here's, here's what we're going to do. If you were to pick any video game character and bring them into the real life, who would it be and why? And please keep it PG. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 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 this is, actually, that's tough. I just came up with this question on the spot. <laughs> huh. You know, I think I would bring in Master Chief. I was gonna say you're a big deal. I'm yeah. I mean, now I am, and the reason is like, I just want like I just want a seven foot badass walking around. <laughs> um, <laughs> also, you know, you never know when World War Three is gonna break out, especially nowadays. Oh my god! So it might be helpful to have just a super soldier like you know on our side. Ethan, do you have anyone you want me to go? I don't know. If if I were choosing from the games that I've already mentioned, I I would have to just choose like any rant. I would choose Obi Wan Kenobi. Let's be honest. Let's yeah. let's be Hello honest. There. I know that because he is the best. Everyone knows Daddy Wan Kenobi. So. <laughs> 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 okay. For me, this is going to be kind of a cop-out <laughs> from Daddy One. <laughs> right. um, yeah, it's going to be a cop-out, but I would have to choose... Actually, no, I was going to say Sonic, but I'm not going to say Sonic. Okay. I'm going to pick Tails. Ooh. So I'm huge Sonic guy, excited for t- uh, Sonic 2 with Tails. I would choose Tails because he's so cute. And my favorite animal is a fox, and he's kind of a fox. Is he a fox? I think he is. He's a fox. Yeah. But he has extra tails or something. To yeah, it's like, a, it's like a propeller. He can, yeah, he can no, no, dude, that thing, right? That thing's aw- yo, he's awesome, man. Yeah. And furry. I just feel, I just feel like I'm in furry. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel bad for him because he always dies in Sonic 2. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dang. guy. All right. Most anticipated video game coming up. Oh, man. Most anticipated video game. Oh, I think I got it. Tails is a fox, by the way. Tails is a fox. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> Bless you, Google. Actually, no. We'll, actually, we'll do it after. We'll, so, we'll, we'll say most anticipated video game after this question. Okay. What is the best video game you played in the last five years? Breath of the Wild. <laughs> a game that you haven't mentioned yet. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got it. When did this game come out? Continue, so go. Okay. Uh, I think my favorite, um, well, not favorite, my best game that I played in the last five years would have to be Super Mario Odyssey. Mm. I don't know if I was about to steal yours. No, that's not Okay, my... okay. I don't um... play Mario games. <laughs> not a child. He's a big fan of Odyssey, though. I, I do love Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Odyssey. Um, yeah, no, that game... Yeah, it was the first game I got with my Switch. Um, actually, even before I got Smash. So, um, I just kind of... And I've always been a really big Mario fan, especially... Like, when I was eight years old, I used to dress up as him in public everywhere. Um, Mrs. Holder, we have those pictures of no, Mom, as no. Mario. I want to see those. 
Put the butt, we'll put them up on the podcast. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Um yeah, I was a really big nerd even back then. And yeah, Mario Odyssey, like Galaxy is still my favorite, but Odyssey is like the perfect Mario game and like the perfect 3D platformer. Yeah. I I would say it's it's a really good one. Ethan. In the last 5 years. Yeah. Well, um, I hate to sound like a broken record here, but it's another Star Wars game. <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be Fallen Order. Oh, let's go. Yeah. I have not played that. I it's open Ethan, open that drawer. The top drawer? Top drawer? Top drawer. It's in there somewhere, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably at the bottom. It's somewhere. I have, so I have it. I've yeah, maybe played is. five minutes of it. <laughs> See, my only issue with Fallen Order was that it wasn't long enough. Same. How long is it? It's not that long. Like I they, finished it in like a week. I finished it in like three days. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was playing, I was I playing was during Christmas left. break. Oh. I, I was playing during all of my online classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing with that game is it's longer um, if you have the difficulty out. So if you have it on easy, you're going to get through it right away. If you play it on normal... It's going to be a pretty good challenge. Probably a little more challenging than most games like right. that. It's it's kind of like Dark Souls. Yeah. All right. The game I played in the last five years that is my favorite is Star Wars Battlefront 2. Hey, hear me out. It had a... Ro- <laughs> These guys are looking at me weird. No, no I, I no, appreciate I'm, this. I'm with you 100% because it's 110%. <laughs> <laughs> hear me out. So, had a, it had a rough launch. I don't know. Rough launch would be an understatement. Yeah. Because they got did they get sued or something? They, I think they for also transactions something like that. Like yeah. they were the game that kicked it off. Yeah, but dude, once once everything settled down and it, like all the lawyers were paid, <laughs> it's a really fun game now. It is so much fun. I played online sometimes, and oh my gosh, the sto- and the story mode. The story mode's really good too. Um, I, yeah, just play the game if you haven't played it. Um, if you want to play with me, I'm on PS4. Yeah, good game. Okay, most anticipated video game. Okay. That's coming up. I have mine, but I don't know if it's the same as Ethan's. Is there a Star Wars game? Fallen Order 2! Okay, oh, no. okay, 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 okay. That, it's okay, that wasn't mine. <laughs> Wait, Ashton, if, Ashton, you go first. I had no idea what Ethan said. <laughs> I was worried, because Ethan said Fallen Order as his like, it's okay. it's not best mine. game. So, okay. okay, Ashton, Ashton, Fallen Order 2. Um, Explain. Yeah, so... I, I won't spoil the end of the first one Thank you. for Nat. Appreciate it. Um but kind of where we left off was a really great place for a new game. And yeah, I'm excited to see the development of the characters um and what they decide to do kind of in the pseudo like prequel Star Wars universe. Nice, nice. Okay, Ethan, go ahead. Yeah, mine is uh, the remastered version of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. about to switch to it's PS5. The, it, yeah, I'm going to have to. Who invited this guy in the podcast, man? <laughs> hey, you did. Yeah, I you, know. You know, you know I don't know anything, any video games except Star Wars ones. <laughs> Explain to me why. <laughs> well, because, I mean... You don't really need to. You don't re- I don't really need to explain why... Knights of the Old Republic's my favorite video game. They're remastering it. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for me. So, I have a list here. Ooh. But, so, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm really looking forward to God of War Ragnarok. Okay. Now, I played the first game twice. And, pro- they. I think it won Game of the Year that year, to, in 2018. If it didn't, they, it got snubbed. But, this game is gonna... It's supposed to look ten times better. It's supposed to be like a lot longer, and you know if they bundle that with a PS Five and they have like a God of War PS Five with like Kratos on the side, that might be that might be with the way to go. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, I wish I could have done that for the Halo Infinite Xbox. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that would that would have been nice. Yeah, that yeah. one actually looks pretty dope. That could have been really nice. Okay, boys. Least favorite video game. <laughs> oh be boy. Honest. Oh boy! Oh, you guys are gonna hate me. <laughs> Is it a Star Wars game? <laughs> Super Smash Bros. <laughs> no. Okay, wait, which one? Okay, okay. <laughs> I I don't like any of them. <laughs> is it? It's just because he sucks. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's because I'm always out right away. 
<laughs> and then I don't even get to learn how to use the moves. I just button mash. <laughs> Oh my. Zan plays Bowser, uses one move. <laughs> Although one time I did win by button mashing, and I felt pretty good about myself. Ash, should we tell him? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, weren't, we weren't playing. We just pulled what you did to your sister, and we, we just... We made it. We, we we had the fake controllers. You were the oh, one that was doing okay. it. Yeah. We were just level two bots. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I knew there was no way I could have actually won. <laughs> Ashton? Okay. Do you have one? Um, I'm going to need another second. I have okay. a couple. Okay, I have a really hot take. So, I'm not good at puzzles. I am absolutely I know where this is going. <laughs> terrible at puzzles. And I don't like games that have hard levels and like make me work two months on one level to get through it. My least favorite game of all time is Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Oh! Okay, I know. I okay. <laughs> if, if you know anything about that game, hear me out. I'm just not a puzzle guy. I love Zelda. I think Zelda games are great. They're just not just not for me. Not for me, man. Uh, yeah, I know people call it the greatest video game of all time. Like, Watch Mojo had it number one. Um, gamers... Digest had it at number one of all time. It's just not for me. I, I'll, I'll play it, but like... Eh. <laughs> I should. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Yeah, I, I'd say for myself, this is kind of a hard one, because there are quite a few games I didn't end up liking. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with... And my brother's going to hate me for this. Um, the first... Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, yeah, I tr he, he doesn't know this, but I did try playing it. Got maybe like 10 minutes in. And, I don't know, it just didn't grab me as much as like Halo 3 or whatever. It it was fine. I love playing like uh, co-op and, or like split screen co-op and whatever. Um, with like my brothers or with friends. But, yeah, just kind of. And maybe I have to give it a bit more time, but didn't grab me. I haven't re really played much of the Call of Duty games. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. Before we wrap it up, I'm going to have one more question for you guys. If you were to bring any IP into and, and, and make it a video game, what would it be? And it can exist already. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a, actually, that's a tough question on the spot. <laughs> That's I have no it. clue. <laughs> <laughs> you just got Ethan. You're gonna answer the question. Like anything that that that's not already going to be made a video game. Or okay, fine. Anything that ha that is not a video game yet. I don't care if it's like being made. But yeah, hmm. what would it be? These okay. guys were like have, has their hands on their chin. Ash is freaking using it. <laughs> Ethan has both hands over his head. <laughs> hey, this is my thinking face. <laughs> oh man. Should I go? You should go. Should I go? You should go. Guys, I want another rock band game. And do you know what band encapsulates rock band? Huh. Wait, oh crap, there we have a game. Oh, it's that. Wait, I'm thinking about this. The Beatles already have a game, right? Beatles, yeah, no, Beatles already have a rock band. Dang. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to need to think. Okay, okay. You know what? I have my game. I have my okay, game. Okay, perfect. For anyone that's been watching Peacemaker, you would know Peacemaker would make such a dope video game. This like a true. GTA style Peacemaker. This is very that true. That would be my IP that I would turn into a video game. Dude, that that's tough, bro. <laughs> that would be rated more, rated higher than just than, M. Than M. <laughs> the cutscenes would be friggin' hilarious. Yes, they would. Okay, Ethan, I have one, but if you want to go, you can go. I don't have one. Dude, he this guy's hunched over in his chair. He looks like he's in pain. He looks <laughs> like he's having a midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for me. So, yes, we're going back to Rock Band. But do you know which singer encapsulates rock more than anyone else? Taylor Swift. Yes! Let's go! Yes. I actually...
actually hate it. This is serious. I actually want a Taylor Swift rock band. 100%. I would play the heck out of that. Like, I want I want all the hits. Yeah. I want all the hits and all, like, the obscure songs. I can't tell you any obscure songs. Anyone have any obscure Taylor Swift songs? I would have if uh, the remaster of Red didn't just come out. Yeah, that's true. No, I, I, I want Me with Brendan Urie. Yeah. 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 That would be fun. Taylor, if you're listening, thank you. But can you make a rock man? Please. I'll help to, I'll help uh design the game and stuff. Also, Taylor, if you're listening, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Same. We all love you, Taylor. <laughs> Big Swifties. Hey, our next list should be Taylor Swift. Oh, that's fair to it. <laughs> next episode. No. I mean, Another we episode. We do that after Ethan's. I, I still can't Dude. think of anything. Okay, Ethan, we'll give you time. What's your... Top, favorite Taylor Swift song. Favorite Taylor Swift song. This, probably, this guy could probably think of it quicker than you can a uh, video game. Music yeah, video I, pro- game. I probably could. <laughs> favorite Taylor Swift song. You gotta go with the classic. Shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> that, Respectable. Respectable, yes. <laughs> no complaints here. <laughs> no yeah. complaints. Yeah. Ashton, your favorite Taylor Swift song. Bro, I have okay. You got all one. my three favorite or favorite playlists. I have a ton of di- her different songs shuffling in right now. This changes like almost every day. But my favorite song right now is Cardigan from Folklore. Dang it, that so- was mine. <laughs> Dang it. No wonder we're friends. No, that was mine. Okay, whatever. Keep it going. Yeah, I'll change it. <laughs> change the cardigan. <laughs> I love cardigans. I like six. Wait, can we have one over there? And we have I have one in my car. Then we have <laughs> three over here, two in the door. I've got seven cardigans in my room right now. <laughs> it's summertime. It's it's summer soon. <laughs> 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 okay, I thought of one. Wait, can I say my favorite favorite Taylor Swift song? Yeah. yeah. It, it, it's cardigan. So <laughs> I guess I'll change. Respectable. It. What are you gonna say, Ethan? Betty. He's so Ben's good. good. He's good. No, no, no. Uh, my favorite is we are never ever getting back together. Classic. Yeah, that's classic. A classic. Yes, it's that a good is song. oh so good. Who did she write that song about again? Was that Lautner? No, that was a Lautner. I don't remember. Was it Zane? Did she date Zane? I don't remember. No, she did a song with Zane though. Who was it? If you know who it is, can you put it down in the comments, please? Actually, maybe she did date Zane. Because Damn. that it's gonna drive me insane. Did she? No. Did, did she, she date dated, Zane? She dated Harry. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that, I think that oh, was the was one. Was it Harry? It was the yeah, one. That was, was the one direction. Mm. Was that what <laughs> she wrote the song? About? No. Oh yeah, whatever. Know. I love how we are talking about talking about video games, and now we're talking about Taylor Swift. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this exists already, but I think it'd be super dope. Um, a horror game that's like an escape room where you're like stuck in one room. Ethan, I hate to break it to you. Um, there's an escape room game based on the escape room movie. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I wish it played it. <laughs> Was it good? It's actually not bad, yeah. <laughs> Ethan's gonna need more time. <laughs> Ethan, you're not leaving this until oh, no. you give us an answer. Um, um. <laughs> so, how was your guys' this weekend? <laughs> Ethan, just, Ethan just got here from... Was it Kamloops today? Kamloops, yeah. 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 Also, to all our Chinese um, listeners, Gong Hei Choi, I celebrated that today, even though it was last week, but if you're Chinese and you celebrate Chinese New Year, sick. Hot nice. Rod the video game. What? Hot Rod the video game. That would actually, actually? be kind of fun. <laughs> the Gospel <laughs> of Luke the video game. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. They're making a game called... I am Jesus Christ. Oh, I saw really? that. Really? Yeah. That looks so janky. Yeah, it looks... You can go around <laughs> healing people. <laughs> really, Jesus, like, shoots fireballs off his hands or something? Yeah, something like that. that is it a white sick. Jesus? I forget. Is it white Jesus? It's white Jesus. It's white... Okay, so... Wait, no one's, no one's just releasing it seriously. for Xbox One. <laughs> no, I think it's PC. Dang it. Oh, PC. I have a computer. Yeah, you have a computer. Wait, wait, Ethan, what was your... Hot Rod the video game? Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> um, you guys don't know what Hot Rod is? It's the uh, a- a- Adam Sandberg movie from like two thousand is nine, where he's like a stunt man. Yeah, that's a good movie. It's a it's Fisher. A good movie. That's her name, right? It's Fisher is also in that. Yeah, also uh, they filmed Isla that like Fisher. right around here. Yeah, they filmed that in Vancouver. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, and, they, uh, and, uh, and Bill Hader. 
Bill Hader and uh, Daniel McBride. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's a good movie. And who's, what's, I don't know the other guy's name, but the other guy from The Lonely Island is in it as well. Oh, like the little short guy. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. All I know is uh, Adam Samberg. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up for us today. Um, Ethan, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Welcome back to uh, to Surrey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, we'll hang out later this week. Uh, yeah, we should we we should hit up a, we should hit up a toy tour soon. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a nerd paradise for those of you wondering. Yeah, nerd uh, toy triggers and Langley. Yes. Uh, yes. Also, quick thing about nerd stuff. Ashton and I are going to Fan Expo next week. Yeah. So expect a full review of that. And we're also getting a picture with the one and only Kevin Smith. Woo! The king of the nerds. Ethan, you should come. I'm going to try to come. I, we... I don't know my work schedule for next week yet, though. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Do if it. We all got a picture with Kevin Smith. That'd be the best. That'd be the best. Of us, you have to pay, but it's like $30. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Do, do ways. Yeah. Whatever. It's Kevin Smith. You could get it with uh, him and Jason Mewes, but it costs like $300. I'm, g- I'm going with just Kevin Smith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, sorry, Jason. Kevin's better than you. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we also have a episode coming up this week about the Book of Boba Fett. Um, yes. Season 1 review. We uh, just rewatched a couple of episodes with Ethan, and now I'm more excited for Wednesday. No, Tuesday at midnight. So, t- yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, guys, until the next episode, I'm Nat. And I'm Ashton. And we, we are, are the, the Nerds, Nerds in Flannel. Flannel. Thank you, guys. Have a great week. Peace out.